Jerry Flynn, nearly glean torn for a Protestant onion. So when I was 16, my father worked in Richardson Fertilizers along with Jim Rogers' sister, who was ex councillor and glean torn director. Supposed to go on trial, didn't go, ended up signing for Banger instead. Strike one, didn't go. Strike two, I come back from Hull and my good friend John Spence's father, Billy Spence, the legendary gentleman, I can't speak highly enough of Billy, he tried to get me, ended up signing for Billy Clare instead with my good friend Jim Platt. Strike two. Third time, uh, about three or four years later, but won the league at Cliftonville and was at the football writers' dinner where all the tapping went on. And the ex secretary of Bally Clare comes over and he says, Jerry, I tell you what it is, the Glens want to sign you. Yeah, and I tell you his name. I says, Okay, well, look, there's what I'm after. Five minutes later, he comes back and he says, Jerry, they're going to give you it. I says, Flip me, Trevor, that's brilliant. Didn't get the phone call. They ended up signing Mark Lindenny instead. So strike three, don't go to the Glens. Still on the football theme, but 10 years later, I meet my future wife. Her dad, heavily involved in the distillery, we Bobby, the painter. He's painted half a Murthia for me. So um, she says, look, Dad, I've met a new guy, but there's a couple of wee problems. He says, what is it? And he says, look, he, uh, he kicks with the left foot. Sure, it doesn't matter to us. He says, but he plays a wee bit of football. What's his name? And uh, she says, Jerry Flynn. What? He's an onion. What, what a way to meet your future son-in-law. So about three weeks later, it's Debbie's, uh, Debbie's 30th birthday in the apartment bar. And it was the first time I was meeting Sandra. Now Sandra's all in the girls' brigade, hardy to are and all like that. She's far quite friendly in Crawford. Uh, so I was panicking about meeting her. There's no way I was bringing Patty with me, Jodie Tolan or Barry Johnson. Who am I going to bring? Oh, my wee Patterson friend, John Spence from East Belfast. Spencey, come on, we're going out tonight. Bring a mate with you. He brings a wee guy called the child. Even to this day, still don't know who the child is. So have a great night. I still think somebody spiked me that night. But... Um, great night, three or four years later, I'm getting married out in Spain to Debbie and uh, a manager knew her at the time. So Alan Williams, Jim O'Brien, the director, Peter Murray are all sitting at the bar. Me and Debbie are getting wedding photographs taken and her only wish was to turn my phone off on that particular day, my wedding day. I says, no problem, honey. I took it over out of the cover, put it in my shirt pocket. I was trying to sing Chris Morgan from the Glens. Next thing, Minto had a bet with the two other boys across the bar. Next thing, he phones me. Phone starts vibrating. I duck behind a palm tree. They all start laughing, caught a cracker. But Debbie doesn't see me. Wedding album comes out about two months later. Wedding photographer got me like Adam behind a palm tree. But we're out here happily ever after.